Okay, this is question number three on the practice exam for your math practice exam on our website. And question three is how to prorate property taxes and how they're entered on the closing disclosure. Hey folks, welcome back. This is Bill over at Climber School of Real Estate and we uh, have question number three here on our math question exam on our website. Uh, so it says the real estate taxes on house are $3,560 per year. Closing date is April 21st. The day of closing belongs to the buyer. And it says, what is the prorated tax amount? How is it reflected on the closing uh, statement? Now, my first move on these, whenever I do a, a proration, and, and this is what uh, one party is, is, is being credited and what one party is being debited. So one party is receiving money and the other one is, is going to be debited on the closing disclosure. So I'm going to find out how much per day the taxes are on this property because I need to figure that out. So I'm going to take 3,560, I'm going to divide that by the 365 days in the calendar year. And that's going to give me $9.75 per day. Now, one thing to remember on property taxes, you are going to use the seller's day. So what that means is, how many days does the seller occupy that property? Now, I've already gone ahead and figured these out for you. So you got to count these down, and it says on the, in the question that the buyer is going to own the house on the 22nd. So you got to make sure you don't use that day. So you got January, February, March, and April. So 31 days in January, 28 February, 31 in March, and 20 days that the seller owns the house for nine, uh, 110 days is how long they uh, own that house. So we're going to use that for our calculation, and then we're going to multiply that times $9.00 and 75 cents a day and that comes out to one thousand seventy two dollars and fifty cents so that is our proration and that is going to be I'll come over here and that's going to be a credit to the buyer And on the closing disclosure, it's going to be called a debit to the seller. It's going to be the same number. Debit seller. And that's what the proration on a property tax uh, proration looks like on a closing disclosure. So there's a really, really good chance that you're going to see one of these on your state exam. So make sure you, you take these notes, practice these. Remember, a couple important things. You've got to find out how many days a seller owns the property and they're, that they're going to be on the property because they're going to have to credit the buyer that because the property taxes come out down here. They call that being paid in arrears. But the property taxes are going to be paid down here in November for this year. So the buyer is actually going to pay the property taxes for the year. That's why the seller's got to credit them the money. So the seller is going to live in that property for 10, 110 days. It's $9.75 per day. So there we go. $1,072.50, credit to buyer. $1,072.50, debit to seller. And there it is, folks. So good luck. Give it all you got. And just remember, there's a good chance you'll see a proration like this on your state exam. Thanks, and keep watching. And make sure you like, hit the like and subscribe button to our channel. Thank you again, and we'll see you soon.